Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dental Momentum. Jared Duckett back at you with another video to help you get better. And guys, I last video, right? It's been a couple of weeks, but last video, I hit on the two things I like to see. The first two things I like to look at on financial statements, right? The first thing I look at that balance sheet, look at cash, how much cash do you have in the bank? First thing I want to see our business, your businesses, all dental practices, how much cash do you have in the bank? Okay. This video, I want to talk about the second thing I immediately look at. Okay. After I look at the cash of the bank, I want to look at a cash flow statement, if you will. You know, we talked about a triple threat PL. What was the cash flow for the month? Cash flow means how much cash increased or how much did cash decrease, right? That's the first thing I want to look at. Okay. Did cash go up five, 10 grand, or did it go down five grand, 10 grand? That's the things you need to look at. And the most important thing, don't just look at it. Okay. You need to know in your practice on a good month. And I know months are all different, right? You got busy months in the summer. If you're pediatric practice, you got, you know, it's just not all every month the same. I get that, but you need to know in a typical month, right? With your BAM, right? What a good month of cash flow should look like, right? In your dental practice, if you're bringing X amount of collections, okay, you pay your standard overhead, give or take, you pay you as the doctor, your salary, you take your money out as a draw, if you're an S corp, all that fun stuff. What is a good month of what that cash flow looks like? Let's just say it's 10 grand, okay? Let's just say that's the number. First off, go find out and think through what that number is. That's kind of looking at a budget, all that fun stuff, okay? So know what that number should be instead of just looking at it. You need something to measure it against. Okay. So my recommendation going forward on all your financial statements, first two things to look at cash in the bank, make sure you're good. Second thing, cash flow for the month. Did it go up? Did it go down? What are you measuring that against? And if you have a good historical trend of money going up, money going up, money going up, you're going in the right direction. I'm not saying you can't ever pull that out. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. Maybe on a quarterly basis, you true it up and you can pull money out, but the cash tells the story of how your practice is doing. Okay. You have any questions on that? Let us know. I'm going to encourage you today. Go look at your financial statements. See in like literally five seconds. Can you see cash increase, cash decrease? All right, guys, make it a great day. Keep getting better. We'll see you.